What's up guys, it's Atenadoro from the TheAndroidInvasion.com A lot of questions I've been getting recently on YouTube involve how do I record my screen and I always saying, yo, dude, how do you record your Android screen, yo? So I figured why not make a video now showing you guys what uh, application I use to record my screen. So first off, you're going to need a rooted device. This doesn't work if you're not rooted, so... If you've been holding off on rooting because you weren't sure if you wanted to do it or not, or you get some functionality out of it, then do it. And if you're not rooted because your device can be rooted, then it sucks for you. So once your device is rooted and you have super user permissions installed, go to the Play Store. You're going to search for an application called Screencast Video Recorder by Media Solutions. Don't remember how much this cost me because I, I purchased this a very long time ago. Um, but it's I think it's a dollar ninety nine or two ninety nine. And something interesting that you guys should know is that it has a 24 hour refund policy. So it, you get it for, you know, how uh, the, Play, the Play Store gives you only 15 minutes. You buy this app, you don't like it, you can email the developer back and he will give you a refund if you uninstall the application. So kudos to that. This doesn't work apparently on the Galaxy Nexus or any devices with Tegra 2 or Tegra 3. So I think. Uh, one of the Transformer Primes, Transformer tablets has an NVIDIA processor, an NVIDIA Tegra processor, so you will be shit out of luck. Then you have a Galaxy Nexus, then you're, again, shit out of luck. But if you don't, then you have, like, Galaxy tablets, I'm using the Galaxy Tablet 7 Plus, or, I don't know, Droid Bionic, or an HTC, one of those HTC phones, then you're good. Uh, so... Once you have this downloaded, you can just open it. It'll ask you for super user permissions. You just let it go. And you can start with a benchmark. On the left side, you have your navigation tool. So the benchmark is the third one. And what the benchmark does is that it, allow, it tells you how many, uh, how how fast your, your uh, device can record. So like let's say in the settings, you want to put 30 frames per second, 40 frames per second. You want to put really high quality. This will tell you how far your device can record without it getting, you know, shitting on you. Now the settings is the fourth one, and I have the resolution on high, and I have the frames per second on set on 30. I could technically go to 40 frames per second, but then towards the end of my recording, if I go over five minutes, it starts spazzing out on me, and the audio starts getting off key, and it's really bad. Uh, I haven't used time lapse yet, might use that at some point later on, I'm not sure. As for the pointer, I like to have a pointer because I, I would like to have people see exactly where I'm typing instead of just having random typings coming out. It's also better for like navigation. So I used to have the mouse number five, which is the um, the mouse you get with when you collect when you connect the uh, third party mouse. Uh, I currently have circles now because the circle I think is pretty, you know, it's a nice. It's obscure enough that it doesn't get in the way of the video and it's big enough that you'll notice it when it's moving around the screen. Uh, default file name, I just leave that alone. Append date to name, yeah, whatever. Just so I can um, go through my uh, list and I know which day I recorded. Like, oh, this day I recorded, you know, the All Recipes uh, review, or this day I recorded the Google Plus review. Um, minimize when recording, I currently have that set on. That way when I start my recordings, you don't see this you will the thing will minimize and you just see my uh, home screen and flip video for galaxy tab 7 if you have an original galaxy tablet the uh, really big bulky one um it, the videos always flip when you're recording it for some reason so you just click that and um, click, tap that and then it'll re-flip it for you so it'll be normal uh another thing to note for some reason this is the second time well, third time i'm recording this the first two times i had this oriented from Let's see, the device was tilted to the so on portrait mode and I tilted it to the right. And then the video was inverted upside down. I have to keep this on the left side rotation. So, yeah, if you guys are recording, you'll have to keep this on the left side rotation. Otherwise, your video is going to be upside down and flipped. And then you have to put it in some editing software and flip it again. And I don't, nah, that's not me. Uh, another thing this application gives you is the ability to take screenshots. So unless you, are, well, for me, I don't have to do this because my Galaxy Tab has TouchWiz on it, and TouchWiz gives us a really neat screenshot um, application here. So you see screenshot, and I say yes. I'll change the color to white, and yes. 
Yeah. Sorry, it's me playing around with my uh, screenshot thingy. But yeah, you can set screenshots with this. You can set the button, I believe, to be like volume up and power or something like that. Or like you shake it to do it. Eh, weird stuff. I never had to do that, but you can do that if you want to. So if you can't take screenshots, uh, screencast actually on screen, re screen recorder helps you do that too. And I record audio with mic. If you have a uh, uh, headphones, uh, man. A headphone uh, set that has a microphone on it it can record from that microphone so it's better for you for, you know, for audio purposes I used to do that I don't do that too often anymore I just find that I just whoa I just record from the micro the uh, microphone on the tablet and I just in a quiet room and you guys can pretty much get the audio that you need from me in a decent enough quality also because I lost those headphones I don't bleh, and I'm too cheap to go buy one Maybe if you guys keep watching my videos and I get more money, I buy another pair of headphones. Yeah, but um, that will be it, guys. This is the oh yeah, um, this is your library page from your from all the uh, videos you record. As you can see on this video and on this video up there, June twenty eighth, those two, the video is upside down inverted because I had this on the wrong orientation. So I had to record this three times. It's the third time. That third time up there was a test to see if it was just the orientation that's fucking me up. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, this is Screencast. Uh, screen, screen Recorder. Records your Android screen if you're rooted. Takes screenshots if you need it. And um, that's pretty much it. It's easy to use. It's simple and it does what it's supposed to do. So um, yeah, check us out on theandroidinvasion.com. Uh, check out our Twitter or Google Plus page. And until next time, we'll see you later.